All right. Uh, so this video is to show you how to make a, a a new reservation with an account versus using a guest reservation. So hit the same um, orange plus in the bottom right hand corner to start the new reservation. Um, we're going to start from the top down to fill out the form. You tap on the option for who is the trip for. And the accounts will load on, on the page. You can narrow it down. I'm just going to type in one of my stored passengers, Johnny Bravo here. Tap the name there, and you'll see the information is pre-populated down below with all the info. Then you proceed and go ahead and filling in your routing information as you see here. Let's go ahead and put an airport in this case. Hit done in the top right hand corner after you finish filling in any appropriate information on this page that you'd like to fill in regarding the flight. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter in a drop off location as well. You can put a pickup date, any pickup time is fine. Um, if you want to have a duration, you can enter that in, in in this blank as well here for like an hourly trip. And you can also in, in, enter in a drop off time if you need to as well. And then you would choose your service type appropriately from your service types list. Um, you go ahead and move to your vehicle area to choose your vehicle capacities as you see here. If you have any, if you have more than one passenger or any other additional information, you can apply it here and hit confirm upon entering. Um, again, uh, the um, if you need a handicap accessible vehicle, the access blank here is yes or no. Yes, if you need a handicap accessible vehicle, no. Um, if you do not, and then you can choose your vehicle type. I'm just going to choose a luxury sedan on this example. Uh, you can proceed to enter in a promo or choose a promo code if you need to as well from this list here from the promo code blank um, if you want to. Um, at this point, you can either apply a rate table from your rates that you have stored in your, in your system from your list here based on what kind of rates you want to use. Um, you also have the option to add a rate manually if you don't have any rates within your system by hitting the orange edit button here. Like if you want to enter in your own rate manually or how much that ride would cost with everything else in there, uh, you can type it out, type everything in and then hit the done option to, on the keyboard for it to recalculate and then hit save and you'll see the rate displayed there with everything that you would have it on. And then you'll move to the payment section. Um, you can choose a payment method. I'm going to choose credit card for this example. Uh, the payment status is unpaid by default. If you want to change it to something different, you can set it here accordingly. Um, if you have any payment terms or voucher numbers, you can select or enter them on the appropriate blanks that you see down below here. Um, now I'm going to choose the option to pay with credit card. Um, since I do have a credit card that I want to use on this account, and I'll go ahead and just choose whichever one I want to use appropriately. And once the credit card information is, is, is entered in, I now have the option to go ahead and just save the reservation and the account reservation has been made successfully. And that's how you make a reservation with an account.